Hello, my fashionistas. Welcome back to TRS. You know what time it is. Casey and Michael O'Connor tear fashion apart, stitch by stitch. Let me stop you there. You mean what? style expert Michael O'Connor. Let's that's, just say what fault. he is. Style yes. Hi, Michael. My yeah. Could we get could we get some credit here, please? I'm Come sorry. Yes. I know. I'm sorry. All I'm right. already ruined this. I'm so <laughs> You're sorry. You're fine. <laughs> Sit back, relax. All right, we I start. Shall with the lovely Rachel Bilson. And I gotta say, this girl's so tiny, you could put her in your little pocket, but this dress doesn't do her any favors. Is this peplum on a new level, Michael? You know, I totally agree with you, Casey. This this outfit really is suffering from a case of style schizophrenia. It doesn't know what it wants to be when it grows up. Is it a two piece? Is it a one piece? Is it a serious gown? Is it a summer skirt? We don't really know. It's an Oscar de la Renta black and blue embroidered piece on top of a gorgeous blue color. It really is what I thought wasn't so great. I mean, what is this capelet thing at the back? Is she channeling a superhero? I really don't get it. The Cassidy pumps were gorgeous because they picked up the black and I, it was very dramatic. But I will have to tell you that I also really didn't love her makeup either. She's got gorgeous eyes, but I felt that this cat eye treatment was just a little bit too heavy. It looked like someone drew it on her with a crayon. Again, it was a little too kind of schizophrenic with that side ponytail casual and then the, the formal kind of makeup. I don't know, it was just weird. Yeah, and she's <laughs> such a good little fashionista, but this was a miss. You didn't like it either, right? Mm. Mm, yes, Steve thumbs saying down. No. Did not like. All right, we move thumbs now to uh, <laughs> something else blue. We move to Katy Perry, and she this she dressed the part for her Smurfs premiere, and I thought this was a well-fitted <laughs> dress for her head to toe. Well, this is definitely Smurf blue, but I will also tell you that this is Tadashi Shoji, who happens to be truly one of my favorite designers of all time. This royal blue dress is beautiful. It's got a leather skirt, beaded top with tone-on-tone -tone flowers. I think that Katy really wore it well. I don't know what she's picking out of her hair right there, but I thought her hair looked Maybe great. That 50s there. hair I thought was beautiful on her, and the Swarovski crystal earrings was, were really, really pretty. Now, the other thing that she had done, this whole outfit was totally blue and black, and I love this shoe, Pedro Garcia, blue satin pump with the black trim and I the bow. It. I just thought it tied it all together. A little cartoony, but I thought it was so Katie and so Smurf. All right, yes. All right, now we move on to Kate Blanchett, who I am labeling this, what the hell was she thinking? Watch, you'll Easy. see what I mean. But here, Whoa. take a look. <laughs> oh, wow. I will tell you, Casey, I kind of like this. This is a Balenciaga edition piece. This was really recreated from her, and they don't do this that often. This is a Gazar cape, and what that means, this is a loosely woven silk with a crisp finish with oh, a matching gosh. dress underneath. Now, I really, I don't know if I love the cape on her, but I thought it really gave her that Hollywood glamour. She mixed it with the Balenciaga pumps. I really loved her hair. That gorgeous hair with loosely swept, was a loosely swept updo. And she was wearing Van Cleef and Arpel's ear clips that I thought were really, really pretty. I just thought it was very, I don't know, it just, it made her look very regal. It is different, we'll give you that. You hate this. This You have no is, idea what's happening I'm, right I, now. In fact, I think I'm, I know, I know what's happening. I'm getting pranked. Oh. This cannot be real. <laughs> the profile shot was unbelievable. It looked like one of those little tunnel slides that kids go out of at a park. So it looked go. like someone was about to pop out. All right, we move on now to the lovely Rose Byrne. And I love this girl, she's gorgeous, but I feel like this just washed her out. Her makeup is too bland and too natural. I didn't feel this one. You know, I totally agree with you on that regard. I will tell you that I thought it was a beautiful, soft summer look, the summer updo, very casual, the nude makeup. But what I think that she should have done, this clutch, which was an Edie Parker clutch, she should have picked up that color, maybe in some eyeshadow, maybe a slightly purple kind of lipstick, whatever. It really needed to be pulled out a little bit more, but I thought that the, the clutch itself was gorgeous. She's you, beautiful too, like and I did. One? I saw the clutch and I actually thought, I like that clutch. Oh, nice. And I there like it go. when they match, especially eyeshadow. Yeah. I'm with you there. Michael O'Connor is always excellent stuff. We appreciate that. Thanks.